Hey guys, this is DC for a Tech Sushi review. Um, today we're going to look at one of my favourite lines in toys, which is the Batman Arkham City Series 2 figure. Today we're going to look at Detective Mode Batman. Give me a quick look at the packaging. This is the original packaging that he actually came in. As you can see, it's not much different to the Arkham Asylum packaging with the cow plastic here. But the background, and you can, it's a bit hard to see through due to the, to the light, but the background actually has pictures of Arkham City. Um, it's a nice sort of greeny colored background this time, whereas the Arkham Asylum figures had the blue background. If we turn over to the back, we can see the magical lineup of what's in this wave. Oops, get that in focus for you. As you can see, we've got the Riddler here in Series 2. We've got Catwoman. We've got Detective Mode Batman. We've got Hush. And we've got the little fella, Jervis Tetch, or the Mad Hatter. There's a little bit of a write-up down the bottom, which is generic to all these packs. And I'll give you a quick spiel. It says, Batman Arkham City introduces Arkham City the new maximum security home for all of Gotham City's thugs, gangsters, and insane criminal masterminds. This heavily fortified, sprawling district in the heart of Gotham City becomes the ultimate battleground between the Dark Knight and his greatest adversaries, as he untangles a web of intrigue that threatens to tear the city apart. Batman's supporting cast is transformed by this new locale into a stronger, more dangerous set of enemies and allies, and they'll push him to the limit and beyond. Obviously, Arkham City is the sequel to Arkham Asylum, and again, it's developed by Rocksteady Studios. Um, if you haven't played the game, I highly recommend it. Now, on to the toys. If we look at Detective Mode Batman, we'll just zoom in a bit here. You can see that he's a nice, pretty blue. Actually, I like this figure. I think this figure is a, a pretty cool figure because it's different from all the other Batmans we've received so far. Um, it's the same mold in body, as you'll see, from the Arkham Asylum Batman and the Series 1 Infected Batman um, that came with at his, with his crowl on and his face showing, which is pretty cool. Um, it leaves it quite open, maybe, that we might get a Bruce Wayne figure in the future. We may not. Hopefully we will. We have a close look at his face you can see that his eyes are actually silver which kind of gives you that detective mode uh, look about him as from the game we go down you can see the paint apps I think are pretty good I really like the fact that in this figure his cape is not a completely different color from his crow like he was in the Arkham Asylum figures Paint apps on his belt, I think look very good. Nice silver there. As you can see, here we go down to his legs, to his boots. Oops, helps if I stay in focus. And if we turn around, we get to see his cape. Now, I don't think that silver you see on his cape to show you like it's waving. That's actually not a paint app, that's just the way it comes. I don't, it doesn't look like there's added paint to it. It could just be wear marks or um, from the packaging. I don't know. Do you guys choose? Anyway, looking at this Batman figure, his head moves. Um, people say it's a ball jointed head, but I actually had a look at the Series 1 figure, and I think there's actually a pin in there, so his head doesn't won't come off because I was going to do a swap and change um, but I can't because I think there's actually a pin in there his arms whoops I'm out of focus again his arms will turn all the way around they're just normal pin joints again he has elbows which this one seems a bit loose and I have seen other reviews and read on, on forums that some joints on these Series 2 figures are loose. 
Um, it could be just mine. But it, just, it just feels a bit loose that I don't want to. I know my figures stay on the shelf, so they're like statues anyway, but that's okay. His gauntlets move. Well, he's got his wrist, what you call wrist action, comes from where the gauntlet joins. See? Like so. No hips. Very much, I think, just pin joints in these hips again. They don't go outwards, they just go backwards and forwards. And again, in his knees. No ankles. He does come with his REC, or his Remote Electronic. I'm not sure what the C stands for, but if you play the game, you would know. Um, this is the gun that you use to open anything electrical. Um, again, the paint apps I think on this are pretty good. I don't mind it. Shows a little bit of wearing, and I like that. I think that's, that's a nice touch. The only issue with this figure, and this will come up a lot with the Arkham City Figures Series 2, is they don't come with stands. Which is very frustrating. This one I had a spare one, so I got to use it. But they do come, if you can see, with peg holes. And if you look at all the websites that you buy these from, they say it comes with stands and accessories. It doesn't. So if you're gonna buy this figure and you expect to see a display stand, not gonna happen. Anyway, this is Detective Mode Batman from the Arkham City range. I like it. I think it's a good figure. Anyway, if you like this review, go to our Facebook page, um, like us on Facebook, we're Tech Sushi, um, and we're going to look at lots of different collectibles from Batman to Marvel. Um, so, all you collectors out there, jump on board. Catch.